Antifa. Antifa. On August 14th, an anonymous tip came in. Cowardly Antifa. Saying one of the firefighters had tried to become a member of a group some believe to be extreme. The Proud Boys. It was assigned to our deputy chief who did a, a full background investigation and found there was no criminal activity at all. Haverford Township Police Chief John Viola says the matter was then turned over to the Board of Commissioners. They suggested the firefighter resign. He tried, but the Bonaire Fire Company's board refused his resignation. So Wednesday night, township officials met in executive session. And the township manager's decision was that we would remove the fire apparatus from the Bonaire Fire Company and shut them down. Established in 1918, the Bonaire Fire Company has served Haverford Township for more than a century. There's been torches and pitchforks running through this town like this guy was the second coming of Adolf Hitler. While I myself am a liberal and disagree with the persuasions of the Proud Boys, by my liberal values, I support their right to hold views different from my own, as is the right of every individual in a free society. There's Antifa guys doxing them all over. Antifa is in favor of fascism. I've got little things, backhanded threats to me. And uh, if you stand against it, all of a sudden you're a racist and a bigot. Being a conservative Republican... Uh, I've been called white supremacist. I don't know how you can look yourselves in the mirror. You bullied Bonaire into succumbing to political, political correctness. I have never heard more hate come out of a township than I've heard in the past five days. Uh, it, it makes me ashamed. I don't, I, I, I don't know what to say anymore. It's sickening, it's nauseating. I've been called coon, I've been called terrible names because I'm a conservative. Just because you disagree doesn't mean you're a racist. It, it's ridiculous, all this. I grew up here, I live here, I love this town. I have never before come to a meeting of commissioners because I never had to, because I felt comfortable and at home and welcomed in my community. He never did anything wrong. I am ashamed for the first time in my life to live in this town. It's a hate-filled time. Uh, it, it makes me ashamed, I'm sorry. And what you've done is you stoked the fire. And if that man isn't reinstated, we've lost our way. It's sad a 100-year-old fire company is shutting down. And whomever was the one that made the decision on this and talked the rest of you into it, well, that guy ought to lose his job and back all of this. Antifa destroying communities too. A fire company submits to political correctness. This is the video version of this webpage for which there is a link in the description. If you haven't seen part 1, see the link below, and if you have, let's remind ourselves by reviewing the end of part 1, then moving forward from there. Isn't it refreshing to see a fire company in this case, just someone, standing up and saying, no, 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 he didn't do anything wrong, He's, we're not going to get rid of him, yeah. right? But wait. Slow down. And now part 2. I spoke too soon. Uh, they aren't the heroes that we thought they're villains. No. On September 9th, the fire company posted this to Facebook. Let's read some of it. Recently, the Bonaire Fire Company decided to refuse the resignation of a member who had associated himself with the group considered to be a hate group by the Anti-Defamation League and the Southern Poverty Law Center and others. The initial decision to refuse the resignation was a mistake. Was a mistake, they say. Oh, we made a mistake and we're sorry. Oh, wait till you wait till you hear the rest of this, Davy. By the way, they write as if the ADL and the SPLC have any validity, as if they don't just lie for money. In past videos, we've already demonstrated in past videos that both the SPLC and the ADL are bad actors. Anyway, continuing, quote, We agree with the township that the board of the Bon Air Fire Company should have accepted the resignation because it is important that all volunteers who represent the township do so free from bias and without discrimination. So the same fire company who recognize that these propagandists are the ones who are violating fairness and equality are now reversing and saying, they're right. We have to be, make sure everything's about fairness and equality. And that is why we are going to accept his resignation because they were right. We've drank the Kool-Aid and we agree. We're NPCs too now. It's like, it's like, it is like the invasion of the 
body snatchers right here, man. It is like, one of us, become one of us, join us. Basically what we're seeing is just how many people in our civilization are susceptible, easily susceptible to brainwashing. That's all this is. And pressure and fear. We're visually getting a chance to see yeah. the results and aftermath of large scale brainwashing. It's the canary in the coal mine, like I said, you know? And this, anyone who is smart enough to have not fallen for this brainwashing tactic, no matter what reason, whether you didn't own, you know, TV, radio, never read a newspaper, or just never <gasps> paid attention to the news ever, you are the enemy to them because you're too smart. Hmm. And the idiots who are doing this crap yeah. know that. Yep. And that is another reason this whole race card thing has come about. Everybody mm -hmm. must be racist who doesn't follow the NPC narrative. The fire company continues, quote, In focusing on our relationship with the individual volunteer, the fire company did not recognize the broader impact of our decision on the Harborfield community. In other words, they've caved into the pressure. Weak, pathetic, contemptible, faithless betrayers. Disloyal, dishonorable appeasers. Quote, membership in any hate group is unacceptable to the Bonaire Fire Company. The Bonaire Fire Company opposes any organization which treats any person unfairly or unequally. The organization states as it treats a person unfairly and with inequality. But wait, just when you think they are done groveling and engaging in cliches, which by now we're all familiar with, they get a lot worse. <laughs> They say that they will submit to political correctness and propagandistic brainwashing. Quote, in addition, the fire company's members will participate in regular training to address tolerance and unconscious or hidden biases. You gotta be fucking kidding. No, don't do it! <laughs> I was gonna say, yes, this son of a bitch. Bitch, bitch. No, God! No, no, no! Yes, this son of a bitch. Bitch, bitch. Don't do it! No! Oh, come on! No! No! Oh, come on! No! No! It's a trap! Tabby, I'm not making this shit up. We intend to welcome all members of the public to such training as well. Become one of us. Join us. Become one of us. Or else you shall be accused. Right? Uh, I promise I'm not making this up, folks. And if you don't believe me, and you really shouldn't believe me or any source ever, you should look into it. See the links in the description. See for yourself read this stuff and if you want you know you can even contact these people and ask them what the goddamn hell has happened to them but we're not done yet they have some more groveling to do and they kneel before those who are not worthy of any respect at all Shit! quote finally the volunteers participation in the activities of the hate group was a bad lapse of judgment. The Bonaire Fire Company has notified the volunteer that the resignation has been deemed accepted on the date tendered. It is the hope of the Bonaire Fire Company that the Harborford community can move forward from this incident in the spirit of inclusivity. Inclusivity. Inclus- Fuck <gasps> you. Fuck <gasps> you. Yeah. Fuck <gasps> you. He did nothing wrong. Right now. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck 
you idiots, you f***ing virtue signaling pieces of f***ing goddamn sh**. You. Inclusivity. Inclusivity. This was a scapegoating so of somebody. It's so inclusive that you cost a man who did nothing wrong his job, right? Because that's inclusive activity, is well, it not? he was a volunteer, but they attacked this man's honor is what they did. They scapegoated and sacrificed an individual yeah. on the altar of political correctness. Because they're weenies. Right. Yeah, they're weenies. But you know what? Go f*** <gasps> yourselves. You are cowards. You are a disgrace. It to is. your profession. It is a disgrace. You know? mm. Go f*** <gasps> yourselves. You're pathetic! I, I... It's infuriating, <laughs> isn't it? It's... Hold on, slow down. Folks, I want you to know that that was a human sound. That was actually Tabitha. That wasn't a dog barking. That was Tabitha just getting so frustrated that some praetor human-like sound came out of her body. I think she was temporarily possessed with the spirit of anger. I'm not sure, but let's hear that again. It's infuriating, isn't it? It's you no, know, that was just my inner bitch finally being allowed to bark. <laughs> she's had enough, and she's like, you know what? Sit down. Ruff! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, when she did that, I, for a second, I thought she was a she-wolf. I, I mean, I could swear for a second she just took on the likeness of a Lincothrope or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, folks, let's move on. That kind of mentality is what destroys societies. It doesn't build, it doesn't help, and it doesn't sustain. It destroys them. Mm -hmm. History, you idiots! Do none of you know how to read? None of this is new! Hell-bent on destroying their own home. It happens to be my home. I'd rather you idiots not destroy it because you gotta play who's the goodest goody good in the room today. Well, it's not you. Because if you're playing a game and how fucking good can I look, you're not a good person. Being good isn't a game. There's not a point system. You don't go, hey, pat me on the back. Oh shit, it's been an hour and no one's acknowledged this great thing I did. You all are pathetic. What does this get you but despised? Yeah. This is all it gets you. It gets you nothing but this. Just go yeah. fuck yourself. Yeah, God well, damn. history will remember. You know, <gasps> remember, history doesn't look back at those who engage in McCarthyism fondly. They look back and they're like, "Wow, those were scumbags." <laughs> yeah, they, and, you know what the best part is. These assholes literally think that they're going to be on the good side of history. Right. They're going to be on the side of the founding fathers, which, by the way, they can't help but keep pissing on all the time. Yep. We'll get into a little bit of that. Yeah. Oh, oh, are you, you're proud. Oh, you hate this country to the point where every founding father is some disgraceful piece of shit, even though their words, calculated thoughts and actions Gave you the privileged reality to be such an ungrateful little piece of shit. Yep. Yeah. <gasps> Damn right. And here we are in the least fascist culture ever. You know, the most libertarian, which is the exact opposite of fascism or totalitarian. You know, whether you want to call it communism, Nazism, fascism, it's all totalitarian, right? The exact opposite of totalitarian is libertarian. Okay, and here we are in the least fascist culture on earth, a libertarian constitutional republic with a bill of rights, and apparently you're a white nationalist if you're okay with that. And yet somehow if you're a chauvinist, a western chauvinist, in other words, someone who is in favor of this libertarian and least fascist culture and political system, you're somehow a fascist. Up is down, left is right, clowns to the left of us, jokers to the right. Ah. Oh. Right, <laughs> that song, right. Yes, I'm trying to I'm trying to invoke that song in everyone's mind. I'm trying to put it, it in worked. your brain. It worked, Folks, yeah. how many of you out there right now have that song in your head? And how many of you are thinking yes, of the scene from Reservoir Dogs? Yes. Some yes, of you yes. are thinking of both of those things right now. Anyway, <laughs> you're welcome. DNYUZ reported on September 9th, the township said that fire trucks and apparatus will be returned to the fire company and that it will be recertified to provide services as soon as the township manager recommends that action to the board, unquote. Oh, see, there you go. You submit 
and you get your stuff back. Yeah. Very good for submitting and for agreeing that it's fair and equal and tolerant to be unfair, unequal, and intolerant. Yeah, because I love that. We're all inclusive except for you! That's not all inclusive. The yeah. definition of all inclusive is everybody or everything, even that which you do not desire. Yeah. It's all and inclusive. See how that works? Yeah. Yeah, you can't say that if you don't mean it. Look, folks, this <laughs> is this is what Orwell was talking about when Winston is convinced that 2 plus 2 equals 5 because of enough conditioning. Eventually, the hand that holds up four fingers is seen as a hand holding up five fingers because of the conditioning. Okay? So, here we have a case of someone submitting and giving in, and in this case, not really believing, but at least agreeing and stating that that which is unequal, unfair, and intolerant is fair, equal, and tolerant. And we need sensitivity training, and so on and so forth. This is like someone who, this is, I mean, this would be if Winston just said, oh yeah, 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 five, I see five, and they go, good, very good, here's your stuff back. Yeah. You know, it's a subtle form of that, but it is, it is like someone, you know, oh yeah, yeah, left is right, I agree, or yeah, 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 white is black, I agree. <laughs> Intolerance is tolerance, I agree. You know, that's what this is. That's what Orwell was talking about. And anyway, although DNYUZ doesn't explain who this person is, they quote a person named Frank McVie, who apparently said, quote, I thought they overreacted from the beginning, but everything's going to work out. We're back in business, unquote. Well, good for you. Local NBC10 also reported that the company is reopening and they report, quote, five company will undergo tolerance training. Isn't that wonderful? Why does the fire department need tolerance training? Their job is to walk into fire and get people out of fire. <laughs> what sensitivity training uh. could they possibly yeah. For the activity of walking into, <laughs> again, <laughs> motherfucking fire <laughs> and collecting idiots who are on fire. <laughs> the fireman's gonna be like, do I have permission to touch your person? <laughs> what other than shut the fuck up and uh, let me grab you so I can throw you out a window to this fucking other dude's arm so he can shimmy you down this ladder yeah. so you no die today. Yeah. What other than that <laughs> should any fireman have to utter? In fact, well, I'll tell they you shouldn't what, have to utter anything. Tabby, I'll tell you what. It's very important that no fireman or woman or member of any of the other 70 genders address a person they were rescuing with their preferred pronouns as they're rescuing. They can't go in, ma'am, you're on fire, because that, what if Zim or Zer identifies as some other gender? So, there you, you know go. What? It's important I, to have the sensitivity training. I have an answer for that. What? If you're a fireman and you go in <laughs> to save somebody and they happen to look like a girl and you go, hey, ma'am, come here, I'm going to save you because you're going to die otherwise. And they go, how dare you assume my gender pronoun? <laughs> Right. Just pretend you didn't find them and go find another person to save today. <laughs> there are other people in this building worthy of saving right now. But miss, my gender pronouns have been violated there. Let us fend for herself. Nah. Nah. My, tax pay, my tax dollars do not pay to save that level of stupid. You go save the five-year-old down the hall that's got a chance. This oh, bitch is gone. That's you funny. know? Yeah. It's like, seriously. <laughs> there is no sensitivity training possible that they would need for uh, their job. This is stupid, pointless, tax money wasting virtue signaling. Yeah. 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 That's all this is. Yeah. Is morons 
spending money they don't need to spend yeah. and wasting time they don't have to waste. Uh, on September 5th, the Philadelphia Inquirer reported, quote, Bon Air said Thursday that the volunteer who has been identified as Bruce McClay Jr. had done nothing wrong as a firefighter and was exercising his, quote, right to freely assemble and to freely associate with others, unquote, unquote. And since then, they have completely reversed themselves. Libel. Let's do a little breakdown of the sources that I've been using here, folks. Not all of them, but some of them. In reporting on this story, Post 24-7 accused the Proud Boys of being an quote-unquote extremist group, as did NBC10 and CBS3 Philly. Here, here, and here. Atlanta Black Star claimed the Proud Boys are a quote-unquote hate group, as did Medios 1. The Philadelphia Inquirer called them quote unquote far right. The Bon Air Fire Company themselves stated that quote membership in any hate group is unacceptable unquote to them and we know which group they were referring to. That means that folks approximately 60% of the sources that I use for this report on this incident are engaging in libel. And that's from a pool of any news source that I could find, local or whatever. I have been messaging, emailing, and calling them to ask them why they characterize the Proud Boys as they do. We'll see what comes of that. Refreshing honesty from one source, at least. At least one source is telling it like it is, as far as I could tell. The Daily Time writes, quote, unelected bureaucrats in bowing at the altar of political correctness have shut down the century-old Bon Air Fire Company on a whim solely because of volunteer firefighters' beliefs didn't align with, quote, unquote, acceptable thought. Rather than extinguishing the situation, however, officials set the township ablaze. See what they're doing there. And their inflammatory rhetoric continues to pump up tensions. By the numbers, 20% fewer firehouses in Harborford Township, 37 displaced Bon Air firefighters, 101 years in existence for Bon Air Fire Company, thousands number of residents now deprived of a community pillar as Bon Air hosted countless events that brought neighbors together. See, it's the destruction of a community going on here. Nine, the number of township commissioners who have yet to vote on the issue, Question mark, number of commissioners who will do the right thing. 330 million, number of Americans whose rights have been further eroded. Because this is about freedom to associate and so forth. This is bullshit. Time to fight fire with fire by rekindling that which seems to be lacking. The truth. One, the rationale for shutting down the Bon Air was that a volunteer firefighter had, a year ago, attended several meetings of a group called the Proud Boys. If you're waiting for additional reasons why the township willfully placed its citizens in jeopardy, you'll be disappointed because that's it. No smoking gun, no five alarm fire. Making the township's decision even more reprehensible is that the firefighter never actually joined the group. He never posted anything on social media that was quote unquote extremist. And he never did anything ever that reflected poorly on the township, Bon Air, or himself, unquote. Further down they write, quote, A. Since when is the SPLC the gold standard for what constitutes a quote-unquote hate group? Sorry, Hoverford, but taxpayers are represented by elected commissioners. And it is they, not the SPLC, who should be the arbiter for such a monumental decision. Quick example, the SPLC placed current HUD secretary and former presidential candidate, Dr. Ben Carson, who is black, on its quote, extreme watch list, unquote, go figure. B, according to the township, the Proud Boys, quote, refuse to apologize for creating the modern world, unquote. Okay, perhaps a bit egotistical, but not hateful. Promote, quote, closed borders, unquote if by that they advocate a border wall and travel bans from lawless terrorist-laden countries, they are in agreement with the majority of Americans, quote, venerating housewives, unquote, as opposed to desecrating them. Stay-at-home parents perform the single most important job possible, raising our children and indeed our future. And my favorite, quote, anti-political correctness, unquote. 
Not only has PC jeopardized America's physical and economic security, but it has destroyed time-honored traditions from banning tag in schoolyards to recognizing Columbus and even Valentine's Day and everything in between. And how utterly ironic that the township just hosed itself, see what they did there, by demonstrating the ultimate political correctness, forcing its belief system on the firefighter and Bon Air Fire Company. You can't make this up. For, to be fair, a question must be asked. Would the same action have been taken had the firefighter belonged to certain leftist groups, such as Antifa, Black Lives Matter, or the Black Panthers? All have exhibited behavior that advocates special treatment for some, while marginalizing others, double standards that can easily be construed as quote-unquote hateful. And what if the firefighter was a person of color? Would the township have done everything the same, or would it have quote, let it go, unquote, so as to not be viewed as quote-unquote racist or quote-unquote bigoted? Obviously, that answer is impossible to quantify, but Harvard officials, if they are true to their duty of representing everyone equally, must look into the mirror and ask themselves that question. Five, speaking of what's quote-unquote hateful, quote-unquote racist, and quote-unquote extremist, Harvard has now joined the ranks of the insane. Six, Harvard's actions would be justified if the firefighter had been a member of an openly racist organization. It would be eminently reasonable to extrapolate that a firefighter who was a KKK member might not fight a fire with gusto if the owner was black and might not have the back of a fellow fireman for the same reason. But that isn't the case with the Bonaire firefighter and never was. Seven, it must also be asked if there is an ulterior motive at play. Maintaining five fire stations is expensive. If officials wanted to jettison one to cut expenses, was this their opportunity to do so, even if it meant dragging an innocent man's reputation through the mud and forever altering his life, family, and livelihood? And if Bon Air now accepts the resignation, will Harvard return the trucks and reinstate the company? Inquiring minds want to know. Obviously, this was written before they got their stuff back for kowtowing. They continue. And if not, the township did those things in the name of political correctness. Either way, it should be damned for its actions. Eight, one of two things is true. Either Harvardford needs five fire stations to adequately protect residents and those traveling through the township, or it doesn't. If it doesn't, then reread the above point and start asking questions. A lot of questions. If yes, then how can the township possibly justify its decision? How can it place the lives and property of taxpayers at risk as response times will clearly rise, especially if other companies are stretched thin during multiple fire calls, like you said earlier, Tabby, all because it didn't like a firefighter attending a few meetings of an organization. When someone needlessly dies, or a family loses everything because of the township's decision, they'll be hell to pay. And those flames burn eternal. Some of you may be saying something like, but what of these accusations? Are they a white nationalist group, a hate group? Are they Nazis? Are they fascists? You haven't proven that they're not. Okay, well, you're a gay-hating, child-beating puppy kicker. Prove that you're not. Oh, you can't actually prove that you're not guilty of those things of which I have accused you of? Maybe because you can't actually prove such negatives. It's just not possible. So... The burden of proof is on the accuser 
to prove that they aren't lying, not on the accused to prove that they are not guilty. Furthermore, that which is asserted without proof can be dismissed without proof. There are guilty parties here. The guilty parties are those who falsely accuse. What does it profit a man to gain the world and yet lose his soul? These people have sacrificed their honor, their integrity, and they scapegoated an innocent volunteer and a fire company itself and made it submit and grovel and humiliate itself at the feet of political correctness. Shame. History will remember, okay? History will remember these betrayers forever. And that's why I wrote this report and made this video. Political correctness, which is an oxymoron because nothing political is correct, and the current mass hysteria are forcing us all to choose between two options. They want you to think that the choice is either you're with us or you're with the terrorists. Wait, no, that was George W. Bush. Or was that, wait, was that Darth Vader? Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. Either you're with us, either you love freedom, and with nations which embrace freedom, or you're with the enemy. There's no in-between. You're either with us or you're with the enemy. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. Anyway, the real choice is between taking the easy, selfish, and safe route to go with the herd and to go along with the lynch mob and to do the wrong thing, or taking the hard, righteous road, the narrow path beset with the iniquity and the tyranny of evil men and women, to split from the herd and to refuse to join in with the lynch mob and to do the right thing. Remember. We do not look fondly back on those who betray others in these witch hunts and these inquisitions. Shame. We will not forget. You will regret. This town has now turned into that old movie, A Town Without Pity. It is a town that has essentially used the full force of its power against an individual who has never been convicted of any crime, never been arrested for any crime, who simply chose to investigate a group when that young man was essentially turned into a, uh, 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 I can't even think of the word right now, but a leper in the city that he, in this town that he served. I no longer recognize Haverford Township, Haverford, Haverford Town. I do not recognize my home. And one last question, gentlemen. Will you please provide a list of all of the organizations to which you belong, all of the meetings you attended, all of the photographs taken of you at any point in your life I hope you've led stellar, virtuous lives. I am ashamed for the first time in my life to live in this town. Thank you. Now, this is sort of an epilogue. The Proud Boys Bit Shoot channel in the comments section told me about this. Apparently, Antifa going after the woman in that last video. So here we have a post or a screenshot of a post from Gwen Snyder is uncivil. And it says, just FYI, Christine Flowers, Facebook, that's the woman who we just saw speaking, page allows you to leave reviews. See what they're doing there? As a reminder, she's the columnist who gave public testimony defending the Proud Boys firefighter Nazi this week and criticizing anti-fascist researchers for, quote, ratting him out, unquote. They're sicking an internet mob on her. By the way, if you want to give her a good review, see the links in the description below. People, I implore you everyone to think about what this bodes for your own town and for all who speak out against this malicious destruction of the fabric of society by the regressive left. <sighs> Please consider donating to our subscribe star now more than ever. I'm having issues with my computer and or microphone. I'm pretty sure it's both. Um, I'm not quite sure. My computer isn't working all of the time now, and that severely limits my ability to do this stuff. A lot of crashes, 
and so on. I'm afraid that the computer is going to finally go out and that I just won't be able to get you any more videos on this channel, at least for however long it takes to get another one. And that will take time. We, we are really strapped. <laughs> We could also use a webcam. We want to put out more videos in which we get on webcams and, uh, you know, we can get on video chats with other people. And the camera that we now use is failing us as well. Anyway, give if you can. See the links below. What do you folks think of this stuff? What do you think this, uh, what if this happened in your town, folks? What do you think about this? Let's talk about this in the comments. This is, uh... You know, I'm not saying, oh, this is coming to every town really fast. Everybody run. Oh, Antifa, you know, because that would be another moral panic. However, we're seeing we're seeing this real thing happen in this real town. And, uh, you know, it's a shame if this happens anywhere, you know, in one town or two or more. Let's hope this doesn't happen in any other town. Uh, you know, if so, I'll try my best to report on that too. But let's hope actually, you know, part three is the end of this. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Liberty, strength, honor, honesty, integrity, laughter, justice, truth, and love.